Hello, I'm Roger Hurst, your Police Fire and Crime Commissioner. Tomorrow is, of course, the first day that many pubs, restaurants and other businesses will be able to reopen. Importantly, we can meet up with other households too. I think it would be fantastic to see other people enjoy a drink and a meal, but I would just urge everyone, please act responsibly. The emergency services, including police, fire and our colleagues in the ambulance service, are all prepared for the extra demand, but let's not use them. It's up to everyone to act responsibly and still observe the social distancing guidance. We've worked so hard, the majority of people have done the right thing, so please let's not risk having the restrictions placed back on us again locally here in Essex. We all need to make the right decisions, stay home where we can, observe two metres social distancing, and if we can't, use a face covering or other mitigation, and that means just facing away from people. Um, it can mean wearing gloves. Uh, it, it certainly means washing your hands frequently and wiping surfaces. Our businesses and communities need us to do the right thing. Many of them are opening for the first time in months. They're trying very hard to get it right. And if you visit a premise and see something's wrong, tell them, offer them advice, and use your own common sense to keep yourself safe. It is our own responsibility, I say again, to look after ourselves and the people we care about. So there's some good news to highlight this week. Um, Sunday is, of course, the NHS's 72nd birthday. So let's all say a big thank you then to all of those people in the health services who've been working so hard, and, of course, some of them have put their lives on the line uh, during the pandem pandemic. Uh, today, as well, a bit more good news is that two new intakes of uh, police officers, 58 of them, have passed out at Essex Police HQ, of course, in a socially distanced ceremony. Uh, more officers are coming into our communities to uh, help make us all safe. Uh, and cementing our commitment in our police and crime plan uh, to more visible, local and accessible policing. Congratulations to all those new officers, and I personally wish you all the very best as you start your policing careers. Thank you all. Keep safe, think of others, and don't be a link to pass on the virus.